And the problem, it's only a very small problem and easily fixable, and it's behind this. Okay, so I've been having problems with my immersion heater. I've turned it on several times and it, the water is just not getting hot. So I suspected that it was the heater element itself that goes into the tank that warms up the water. But I'm no expert at this. I'm not an electrical engineer or anything like that. I just want to show you the fix that I found it was that worked for me in this instance. And the problem, it's only a very small problem and easily fixable, and it's behind this. Before we take it off, I'm going to have to make sure that the isolator switch is in the off position. This is. So we'll take this off. And that exposes the wires. What my problem was, was this tiny little thing here, which I found out was the trip switch, this. Because what I'd done is I'd left this on for too long and the water inside had got so hot that it was going to create some damage, but it tripped the trip switch so no damage would occur and stopped the whole eating element. And when it trips, this little black thing here pushes upwards. So all I needed to do was, I've got this here. What I did was I just pushed it back down. So, so we'll just push it down at the top, nice and gently until we hear a click. There we go. And that should do it. We'll put everything back together. And then usually when I turn this on, I can hear the element working inside, like a kettle, but very faint. So we'll get the camera close and see if we can. You'll hear a click, that's me turning the isolator on. And now we can hear that it's working. That's heating the water up nicely. So hopefully this will sort out your problem. I'm not saying they're all the same. I'm sure they're all different, the electrical systems on these. But I thought I'd let you know what worked for me to save the expense of a whole element, if that's the case. Okay, thanks for watching.